hello good morning students so today we will uh, design a uh, sardar type fold this is an important uh, topic of uh, rtu and uh, usually occur usually put in the question papers so you can see here the diagram of this sardar fold uh, usually students says that uh, this is a typical question or uh, and uh, so and so but uh, it is not uh, practically this is not uh, typical uh, it is very simple question you can see here so this is the diagram cross section of uh, canal system having sardha fold so in this sardha fold this is the upper stream curtain wall this is a bottom part of it is a bottom part of uh bottom surface of the canal or we can say bed level so in this bed level there are curtain wall curtain wall here upstream curtain wall this portion is upstream curtain upstream side and this is the downstream side below the crest wall this is a crest wall okay and uh, a brick uh, a brick edges is uh, drawn here Uh, which is a form of impervious impervious layer uh, above the this concrete layer and uh, this is the downstream curtain wall and another cut off wall is present here so this this uh, overall portion it is made up of concrete okay and crest wall is uh, in the form of step footing okay so you can see here this is the top width of the this is the top width of the crest wall and this is the bottom width of the crest wall represented by capital b top width and b1 by b1 bottom width a drain pipe is uh, <coughs> given here for the drainage in the when the uh, canal get off during uh, during not uh, during summer summer season okay and the slope is provided here 1 is 1 is to 10 for brick pitching and brick pitching is also done in the upstream side and this is the bed level of the uh, bed level of the canal okay and uh, <coughs> okay cistern this is cistern in which uh, water is uh, already available here to dissipate the energy which uh, uh, when uh, when water fall from upstream to the downstream side water get the energy get dissipate and convert into the potential energy here you can see here uh, the brick side pitching is here and uh, in another portion this is a crest wall okay upstream Be, yeah, this is a upstream bed level and uh, there are two lines you can see here this is a line it is known as upstream fsl full supply level of the canal and uh, this shape after this shape we get downstream fsl this is a down this is the full supply level in the downstream side and uh, above this fsl a line is also given here it is a imaginary line which is known as upstream total energy level okay and above this if you if you seeing in the cross section this is a wing wall upstream wing wall okay <coughs> and uh, as same as uh, in the upstream side downstream in the downstream is uh, in the downstream same upstream wing wall will present and uh, this is the portion represented by capital h this is the height uh, from crest level to the fsl known as small h and sometimes taken as capital h also okay 
and uh, the height from upstream total energy level to the upstream crest uh, to the crest level known as and represented by capital e okay capital e okay you can see here the wing wall should be present and this is a brick portion this is a downstream total energy line same as in the present in the upstream side okay and uh, below the brick side pitching a concrete portion a solid portion is provided here of uh, 10 cent width having 10 cm thickness using ballast okay so and uh, the depth of the crest wall represented by the small d which is from the cistern level to the crest level and this is a small x you can see here this is the depth of the cistern water available in the cistern okay and hl what is hl it is the difference between upstream fsl to the downstream fsl known as hydric hydraulic uh, it is known as drop okay drop so this is all about the diagram and the water flow the direction of the water flow it is from left to right means this side to this side canal is flowing in this uh, direction and capital d1 the distance between upstream bed level to the uh, full supply level of the upstream uh, it is represented by capital d1 and small h is here because we are uh, taking we will use capital h in place of small h here so uh, we are using small h here this is the depth of the upstream side upstream side between upstream side and the bed level of the upstream uh, bed level of the upstream to the crest level it is known as small it is represented by small h okay so this is the diagram regarding uh, the sarda fold design uh, you should uh, all these things you should keep in mind that uh, what is the cistern where the cistern is present here what is it from which we can denote okay and uh, what is the what is small d and uh, what is the total energy line uh, what is the drop so all those terms you should very well clear then this question will be very easy okay in next lecture we will uh, design the uh, this uh, sada type fold step by step okay thank you